this looks a little scary, not gonna lie. It looks really steep from down here. Oh my god, it's nothing but sky. Holy pickles, this is steep. This is really steep. Hi and welcome to the Fast Lane Car and today we have a very special episode because we're going where? Moab. Wow, the maturity here is overwhelming. You gotta draw some little ones too, Alex. Oh god, let's just go. No, leave. <laughs> Okay, Alex, so we're at a gas station to clear off some um, windshields, and what happened? Uh, my Jeep died, because the battery's dead, because my alternator's probably dead. Just hold on to this for now. All right, so we're about eh, 20 miles outside of, 30 miles outside of Boulder, here in Idaho Springs, um, and Alex's car just died. So we determined it is the alternator. It's um, it's, it's gone bad. It's not charging it. So <laughs> what? what? Now, now what? what do we do? We can call my dad. And he'll come with the trailer. So we can trailer it back, or we can try to replace it ourselves. But I don't think we can replace an alternator by the side of the road. Not in this weather. Um. Well, is there a shop? in Idaho Springs. Google it. After doing some research online, we found several mechanics in Idaho Springs. However, they were all too busy to help us. Oh well, there's always next year. Well, guess where we are? I don't know, does it have something to do with that sign behind us? <laughs> yes. The one that Tommy's head seems to be blocking entirely. Against all odds, we fixed the alternator on the side of the road and made it to Utah. This is definitely my first uh, parking lot alternator change. What about yours? Yeah, I have never changed an alternator in a parking lot. Uh, I've never changed one at all, so let's see if we can do it. We made it to Utah, all the vehicles are still running, more or less, more or less. Um, knock on wood, but uh, now let's, let's get to Moab. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're here at Fins and Things in Moab, Utah, and we're about to go hit the dunes, hit the dirt, hit the slick rock. Um, I think it should be fun. Yeah, it should be a great yeah, time. Definitely. Let's do it. Now, for those of you that don't know, Easter Jeep Safari is a Jeep event that happens right around Easter every year, and it combines thousands of Jeeps from all over the country together in one spot for off-road shenanigans and pictures and group meets. It's just really the pinnacle of Jeep events. That's really steep. Properly scary here. Oh. Yes, and we're down. Alex, that may have just been, as you said, the scariest thing I've ever done in my Jeep. That was, Man, that's steep. That was terrifying. Wow. When Tommy originally proposed this trip, 
I was a little bit nervous actually. Um, Moab is definitely the biggest four-wheeling I've ever done. I was almost certain that I was gonna get showed up pretty much everywhere I went by all the crazy Rubicons that are that are around on the trails right now. Um, but so far, it's been absolutely awesome. Uh, the Forerunner has handled exceptionally the entire time. On the first trail we did fins and things, um, I got my first ever taste of slick rock. Um, and it was some pretty serious slick rock too. It wasn't any, it wasn't like, it wasn't pushover, man. It was, it was steep. Um, and in a lot of places it was really sandy. One thing I have noticed though, and I noticed especially on fins and things, is Alex and Tommy have a significantly better approach angle than I do, and departure angle for that matter. Alex, do you think that Matt can do this? One way or another, he'll get down. That's my bet. I'm not, I'm not gonna bet against his forerunner. Just yet? Just yet. We'll see though, we'll see. All right, so Matt's going for it. Let's see if we can do it. Tons of other knowledgeable people kept saying how much airing down helps things and it's absolutely true. Not only can you get a lot more traction on all rocks, it's so much nicer to be driving on a dirt road at 17 psi and lower than at 35 psi and higher, so 10 out of 10 would recommend. Now this slick rock really requires a completely different approach than traditional off-roading you got some wheel spin and it crawls you right up now I really wish I had lockers today because that's where it would really come into its own but with these tires aired down even just this little bit it makes such a huge difference all right so Alex has just discovered a new rattle and we're not sure what it is but it could either be something serious or the fact that it's just an old Jeep and they rattle, but he said it's new, so we're gonna take a look. Alex just drove down the road and his wheel is about to fall off. So, did you break an axle shaft? No, those lug nuts are super loose. Oh, it's the lug nuts. Good, those are not supposed to fall off. Hey, so Matt, what's notable about this red dust that's everywhere? It gets absolutely everywhere and it never comes out, ever. Absolutely ever. I mean, it'll be in the engine bay forever. It'll be in my cab forever. You hit the seats, it's gonna, oof. it's great. Ah, good old Moab. Oh good, so now that we tightened up uh, wheels, hopefully we're good to go. <laughs> Do you want some? No. Throw it at the camera lens, which is also at me. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, it does actually. It goes everywhere. That's true. Okay, good. Real, real we verified that. Here at TFL car. <laughs> yeah, we don't mess around. We test all claims. So, it does in fact go everywhere. Now I have to throw this away. <laughs> Hey, has the sound gone away? I think so. My music is too loud to know, but I'm pretty sure. Nine okay. out of ten, sure. Good. Okay, now we're about to approach a pretty big hill. Four low. Drive. Let's do this thing. Oh, it's really steep. 
Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Oh, and it's completely blind over the top of the hill here. That was bizarre. This is a classic example of diff lock. You don't need a $50,000 Rubicon to come out here and have fun. These are $5,000 Jeeps. We're staying in tents. You know, we're, we're doing this on the cheap. And it's just so much fun being out here with friends in the lovely weather on off-road trails. What could be better? I mean, it's just really, really great. <laughs> we set out on this journey to find the best that Moab has to offer, and boy did we find it. we have had some issues, that's really part of the adventure. Fixing an alternator on the side of the road in the parking lot of a ski rental place, you know. It's just classic road trip, it doesn't get any better than that. Yes, we didn't really know what we were doing, but we figured it out and we're here. All three vehicles are still here, still running, still bouncing around on the trails. It's just awesome. I'm not gonna cook your weenie. Get the box. Get the box. Get the box. You're only cooking one hand of my weenies. Oh, I don't want to touch it. Oh my god. With my hands. Weenie down. Weenie down. It's a cursed weenie. Well, it's because it's all flappy.